Hey guys, this is Pops Martin, and uh, I have connected my Behringer X Touch, brand new, right out of the box, and uh, connected it to Cubase Pro 8 version 8020, and uh, yeah, configured it in Mackie control mode. Inside Cubase, I selected the Cubase mode. I even tried in compatibility mode. Um, yeah. Basically, it's running. <laughs> nice. Okay. I can move the faders, of course, but uh, if I switch fader banks, for example, I have a example track. Uh, I think I have 19 tracks total. So if I switch the fader banks, you can see the faders moving. Uh, that's nice. Moving faders. I love it. But the first thing you might have noticed is this display is completely black. No timecode, no bars, beats, subdivision, display in Cubase. If I have a second door here, it's a Persona Studio One. If I connect it to Persona Studio One, I will have this display working. But here in Cubase, it won't work. So there's the first issue I have, and I could not fix it. It doesn't matter if I use the Cubase mode or the compatibility mode for Mackie control in this door. It simply doesn't work. Anyway, let's have a look at this little X-Touch. For example, the rotary encoders up here, they are, by default, they are in pan mode. So here you can see pan, left, right, and I can use these encoders to push something to the left or to the right. And as soon as I turn it, I will see the values, right 20, center center, and so on. And then it switches back to the description what I'm controlling with these. I can change this to display the value all the time. So if I know I'm in pan mode, I can see the values all the time. OK, nothing special about that. And if I switch the fader banks, also these encoders change, but the display name value goes back to default. So I always have to re-enable to see the values all the time. It doesn't remember the setting if I switch the fader banks. Anyway, now let's see. I have a page number two. Now we are on page one of two. I control left, right. If I use the channel button, I can go to the second page and I can control front rear settings for surround mixes. Okay, so that's pretty nice. I can go to the EQ settings. I can go to the send settings. There we have four pages. Now we have the effects send level. Then we can switch it on off pre or post, and this, Ooh, I don't know, I haven't figured out, anyway. Now let's go back to the pan, nice thing, flip button is working pretty nice, so now I have the pan settings here on my faders, okay, and then I switch back to the regular fader mode, and now the pan settings are up here again. So all these kind of things seem to work. I can activate, deactivate cycle. You cannot see that right now, but in my DAW it's, it works. One thing that doesn't work is the click. I cannot activate, deactivate the click track. No idea why it doesn't work. It's not so nice. Sometimes I would like to have it. Anyway, so that's kind of a first impression. If I use this button here to switch between SMPT timecode and Beats display, it will switch in Cubase. I can remote control Cubase, but I don't get any display here. Hmm. No idea why this happens. Maybe it's a Cubase issue? Probably it's a Cubase issue, because in Studio One it's working. So I have no idea. Anyway, um, the faders, they have a little bit of a plastic feel, 
but they are moving quite nice. Not so bad. And if I switch the fader banks, there's a scratching sound, but they are fast, so I don't care too much. That's okay. The jog wheel, hmm, to be honest, not so nice. It feels really plastic and it's a little bit wobbly here if you touch it. And it's really just a jog wheel. You can activate scrub, scrub mode, doesn't change anything, but it's not like two rings, inside ring, outside ring for a shuttle. There is no shuttle. Okay, I don't like this one very much. The other buttons are pretty nice, they, they are okay. For example, um, you can barely hear me touching these soft buttons. They are okay. Transport buttons, almost same. They are hard plastic, but the there's not a nasty click sound or something. It's okay. Encoders. Uh, okay as well. If you push them, that's pretty loud. That's not so nice. Anyway, this is a quick video of my first impressions. I like the functionality. The faders are okay. What I don't like, I really don't like missing display and the jog wheel is really not so nice. It will not replace my Contour Shuttle Pro, that's for sure, because I like to have a shuttle. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye bye.